Hello everyone, Sons and Tomb, welcome to another type of video, this time on Modrinth, a website that makes it easier for not only people wanting to discover mods or download or this and the other, but uh, to actually publish and do otherwise if you're a modding creator. So pretty much what it's attempting to do, uh, or its goals, is to obviously have a fast and adaptable search algorithm, as well as obviously make it so that it can import, or so that you can use its own actual source itself as a means to actually discover and publish mods. So for the most part it's only pulling from CurseForge at the moment, but it will obviously have its own um, sort of possibilities as a platform. So yeah, or for search results, it still have its own hosted on here, is more what I mean. Uh, for developers, of course, you've got it where obviously, you know, you put your effort in and you get quite a lot back instead of, you know, percentage back. Um, so yeah, you pretty much get back what you put in and otherwise they can publish their own on the platform if they wish to with easy to use tools. Uh, otherwise, there's an open source API as well which uh, for those who want to utilize it can do that. It does say it's fully documented but there's no actual information on that yet posted to the site. That'll obviously come later but uh, as you can see on the slide that's pretty much what you can achieve with it I assume. Just a sort of a bit of demo there. And uh, yeah, so only a certain fraction of what's here is available. So mods and is available and home is available Many of these are not down here, and some others that go off-site do work, obviously. So if it goes to something like GitHub, then it mostly works. But some of these I don't think are, and I'm not going to go into all of them, of course, because I'm just going to go to mostly the user-focused stuff that many people use it for. So, uh, first up, we have obviously things like um, light and dark mode, if you prefer. We've got, obviously, on the side, the ability to go back to the main page, or just go back to these or the about section, or the pack section and so on, which obviously those aren't finished, so mods is the only one we're going to be using now. Uh, but if you do, do want to access mod packs, support or guides, you can. Uh, there's a login, however, for those that want to use, I assume, the API or publish or something like that, which you can sign into GitHub and you can move through to Modrinth. Um, you have got a search bar for searching things like so. Uh, you can search a bit more niche or recent stuff if you want and do that. Uh, I haven't come across any that are within the less than three days sort of thing. I've also checked with uh, CurseForge as this is mostly where it's getting its results at the moment. It's actual ones that are hosted on here and not available yet. So yeah, um, we just did get something new though that was in the, like the first two days so we could try that with box on that patch. Okay, so it's not going to search that apparently. Can we go newest? No, nah, okay, so it's not going to find it. So I was curious if it would find things like this, but it seems it doesn't. Um, it's just like with searching in CurseForge, you're not going to find anything like this in there. It's just not going to exist yet. Okay, that does apparently. What am I missing then? Is it spacing? The results? Okay. I mean, there is going to be situations where you're not going to find something like that, but I was curious. And again, that's within the last few days and no downloads, so I don't know. But uh, I think in cases like this, you'll still probably have an issue where it's like, it's within the two days and less sort of range of things that are still new. It's still being, you know, I'm not going to say processed through the system, but still at its point where it doesn't become visible to many people. And uh, as someone who always documents some of this stuff, just to find it if I don't have the URL otherwise on me, in a document somewhere, I'll just go, what was that mod called again? I'll search that in. Oh, okay, I can't find it. I have to go through page after page after page, which, since I'm looking for probably new mods, it's like, oh, okay, it's just the first four pages or something. It's not difficult, but if in other cases, obviously, it can be quite difficult to search. So, I assume in cases like that, you could, but for the most part of this stuff that's, you know, still you know, easy to search because of the name's there, then sure. But uh, then again, I don't know if any mods I can search for that are very particular. 
um, we'll display all because I think it was mostly with mod packs when I was creating some it would be okay search for this thing and I would just have to find a way around it to get its name I don't know if you have that sort of issue here um, with the searches here it's not usually an issue but it's mostly when making mod packs it is um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, obviously, I assume this will be just as good as Curse Forges, but it's a smidge bit faster, of course, as you can tell. So we'll just go, I don't know, Slime Bios or something. And you see it'll immediately try to bring up what it can, or just completely go back to it, compared to here, where it's like, I don't know, Forge or something. And, yeah, I mean, if speed's a thing for you, then obviously you can notice the difference there. Uh, otherwise, we've got obviously the tabs on the sides, you've got relevance, you've got total downloads, newest and updated. So if you want to find things that are updated since, that have just released or been created, total downloads and relevance, which many of these sort of just fill in the same until you obviously have more results. Um, speaking of more results, you can display up to 100 if you want, instead of just 5. Or however much Curse Forge presents, which I think is about 20 or something, and I guess. So obviously you've got a lot of search results if you want to find things. And obviously it reduces the amount of pages from 3,000 to obviously 100 and something. So there's that. Uh, you've got the ability to set filters. So you've got categories. Where if we want just technology, we can see that, but if we want to see those that fit under both technology and adventure, we can. Instead of it just being, you know, only technology and then only adventure, and you'd have to have adventure in like a tab or something like that. You now have the ability to narrow down things even more with those that fit that. So obviously a fair amount of these fit these three tags. Some of them won't go much further though, so we're not going to find food under there. We're probably not going to find storage. So world gen one. Or can it only go up to three filters is what it seems like, I think. Yeah, it seems to be it. So it can't go any higher than three filters, I think. Um, unless that's just the case. I don't know. We've got storage, we've got food, we do well gen. Um, miscellaneous, nothing. No, so it seems like I think mostly three filters is the closest you'll get. But you do probably narrow things down quite a bit. So it's not too bad. Um, Otherwise, you've got the ability for you to select between loaders. So for anyone who's always wanted to search for only Forge, you now can do that and filter out fabric. Um, so yeah, obviously this is a thing for a while where many people will just go, okay, look for the fabric icon or select fabric as an option here. And most people that want to search for Forge, of course, have it where they have to constantly try and work out which is which if the icon's not available on certain... Um, tagging of course or in um other cases of course we're just looking casually you just can't you know find stuff and separate it um whilst fabric you can separate it here and obviously you wouldn't have the uh, much options with versions because you have to search specifically for the following here and you can't search whichever 114 or higher version you wanted um and filter it out you now can filter out between them and select versions so you can now do that Quite a useful feature, I'd say. Many people wanted, especially those that uh, obviously made the request and have obviously commented since um, with something like this request here. But uh, now you've got obviously the ability to do that. Uh, you have the ability to filter between platforms. Uh, it's only supporting of Curse Forge searches at the moment. Um, there's no Modrinth ones, but for those that obviously apply theirs to this platform you can obviously filter out what you want. I don't know if there'll be any others like Planet Minecraft or certain other you know legitimate ones, not more reboot post sites of course, um, but like any others obviously you could. I guess it'll probably just be these two for now, but uh, if there is any others who knows. Um, same with loaders, I don't know if there'll be things like Rift or Light Loader. My guess is it's mostly a focus on new version stuff. So mostly it'll just be Forge and Fabric only. I don't see anything prior being on there, um, like 112 and before. Or if there is that, most people will look at Forge, they won't look at Light Loader or Rift. I think it'd be a nice feature, but I get why most people probably wouldn't use them. Um, so, yeah. Uh, otherwise, you've got versions, which uh, is displayed like so. And uh, there's no like snapshots or anything 
in between here. Um, or just showing, you know, 116 snapshot. It literally has it where if you want to go to snapshots, you have to go pretty much past 1.0, and then you get to the release candidates and actual snapshots. You get access to pretty much any that is scannable here. Or visible here, excuse me. Now we'll look far, quite far a bit, because obviously there's a lot. But uh, it depends on what's visible, that's the thing. I don't know if it's like as comprehensible of a, um, sorry, uh, available as um, others, where it's like, say, you use, I don't know, Multi MC or the regular launcher or something and see a bunch of snapshots. I don't know if it's that in depth, but I would assume it's about as close as those, or it's that good for finding certain results. Okay, so we've got one five, one four, one three, and then it goes straight to beta. So you can't find one two five. You can't find certain other stuff. Um, whilst here, you technically can, in a way. So mm, depends on what you're really looking for. But if you do want things that are easily accessible for betas and other bits and pieces, you have that, or even older versions than that. But uh, yeah, depending on what you're wanting to search for versions, that's an option. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, if you want a source that can obviously have its own hosted on it, as well as still search for CurseForge if there's still some things on there you want to look for. Make it easier to filter, especially, um, whether it be up to three categories or just between whichever model loaders because you specifically want to use only things from Forge or Fabric. Um, then you have that as an option. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on this because there's not much else. There is just the home page and the mod page. Many others are still being worked on. I think it's definitely going to be an interesting um, platform to look to um, for things to be hosted or things that you can still look between the two for results. But uh, yeah, if anyone's interested, those that's a viewer or developer and want to take a look at it, um, or take advantage of it once there's enough going with obviously certain other things like support guides and whatever else there is in the open source side of things, um, then yeah, probably check it out. But uh, for the most part, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.